I don't know why there's so much traffic, there's never traffic on this road. So yeah, the laws and regulations on 50cc. Now in the UK, this might vary from like, different countries of the world, but in the UK, you're allowed to ride a 50cc, with that's motorbike scooter, uh, as long as it's restricted to 28 miles an hour, well, between 28 and 31 miles an hour. Now, should you be restrict a moped at 16? Now, it's personal preference. I'm not going to tell you whether you should or you shouldn't, but I'm going to tell you the benefits and this, well, the, well, advantages and disadvantages of restricting and uh, day restricting of 50cc. So, the benefits is you're going faster. Now, my moped can do 45 or 40 easily. I'm doing 40 now if I full throttle it. Just got about 43 then. So as you can see, my moped is day restricted. Now, I've actually been caught with a day restricted moped. I'll get into that later. But obviously it's a lot safer a lot safer. If you're on a dual carriageway that's 70 mile an hour and you can only do 28 when you can't be doing 45 it's a, it's a lot safer going 45 than 28. Cars are not going to be overtaking you as quick. Cars will still be overtaking you because obviously they can do 70. You're only doing 45 so they obviously want to do 70 because they can do. Finally, felt like I was sat in that traffic for about half an hour. I don't know how long I was sat in there, but I'm going to put it on screen now. I'm going to work out. So yeah, obviously it's a lot safer. Ah, oh, right, that's why. Oh shit! I ain't been on this road in, since like Friday, and it's already ripped the fuck up. Jesus. Fucking hell. That is mental. How far is this road ripped up? I hate driving on roads like this because the wheel wants to sit in like the grooves in the road where they've ripped it up. So. The moped just feels so unsecure. It's horrible. A lot more equipment. What the? What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh God! Look at this traffic. So yeah, um, other benefits. Is oh shit. So other, other benefits. Oh look, someone's getting impatient. But I can't think of any other benefits actually. Um, apart from being faster and safer, that's about it to be honest. Um, disadvantage. No, there's a bit more uh, disadvantages because I've obviously seen the, the disadvantages. But if you speed. Which I have speeded, and I had to go for a driver awareness course. Did then know your moped is day restricted? I hate this junction for this bloody reason. The traffic lights are fucked. Right, so what was I saying? I have completely forgot. Um, So, the police now know that my moped is day restricted. Uh, well, they think. Well, they kind of know, but they're not allowed to like say that it's day restricted. I don't know. It's a bit confusing, but yeah. So the police went round to my mum while I was at work and explained to my mum what the fuck had happened and 
they explained that if I'm in a crash or involved in an incident, my insurance is void because I'm restricted. So that means I'd have to pay for all the um, the costs, or I go to jail because of no insurance. But I do have insurance, it's just wide. Now, I am getting it day restricted, but restricted. Um, just waiting for the bar to come, because obviously the police know I'm day restricted, and they're after me, they want to talk to me, and uh, it flags up on their cars that if they drive past me that they need to check. So I'm actually shouldn't be riding actually that's one way of putting it a lot of money's going into this small bed and, and uh, I don't want it to just go down the rain and that's the reason why I'm on the road but technically I'm insured I'm paying insurance at the minute so yeah so I'm just waiting for this restrictor to get back on and then I'm absolutely fine absolutely fine so yeah, you make your own decisions. You whether you want to restrict it or they restrict it. To be honest, I'm only doing 28 now, so you're only gonna go above 30 on big roads, dual, dual carriageways or like country roads where there's 50. So if you're in a town like this, I'd suggest to keep it. Just if if you buy it. If you might restrict it, just keep it on, honestly. Just keep it on. Easiness. Then you're, you're 100% legal. And then, then no one can hassle you. Like I've been hassled. And then you can't speed. So you won't have to pay the £85 fine and then go to a 4 hour driver's awareness course. A speed awareness course, so I say. Which, yeah, that was very boring. Very boring. So, yeah, that, that, that is the law's regulations. Uh, so, yeah, make your own decisions with that one. Now, I'm going to tell you my experience with speeding and what, what I had to do. So, I was on the way home from college, and uh, there was this, like, dual carriageway, but it wasn't a dual carriageway. But, I don't know, how, it is a dual carriageway. Yeah, it is a dual carriageway. Um, but I thought Joe Cridgeways were 50 mile an hour speed limit. I didn't know the speed limit was a 30. So I just flattened it out down this hill, speed camera there, and I'm like, yeah, I'm alright, it's a 50. So, yeah, went for it, and then uh, didn't think out of it. So I thought I was perfectly fine. Until I uh, got a letter through the door saying, uh, from the police saying I'd speeded. I've been speeding. So, uh, what I had to do then is I had to send off that document with my driver's uh, license number on and all that shit. And then uh, they sent me, then they sent me another letter back saying I needed to uh, book. Well, I had three options. I could pay a hundred pound fine and get three points. I could go pay, well, pay whatever the charge was for the dry the speed awareness course is and go to a speed awareness course or I could go to court and try and get rid of the fine like up test it saying saying like uh, it wasn't my fault I was speeding. I could say like but it wasn't lit or something like if this if there was no like signs in the speed limit then I could say there was no signs and then I'd yeah did did, did say alright that's fine. Now what people normally do is they'll rob the sign, the speed limit sign, and then go to court and say it wasn't there, take a photo of the sign missing, and then there, that's it, the fine's gone. And then they don't get the points. Now, that's illegal, obviously. So, don't do that, and I didn't do that. I just went and paid the £85 for the speed awareness course, and went for the speed awareness course, which was very, very boring. It was four hours, you sat in a classroom, with a bunch of other people who speeded, and then you just got to listen to this guy talk about every single different road. Oh, fuck the speed limits of all the different roads and how to like 
nor the speed limit of the roads. Very boring. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Never want to do it again. So, yeah. So yeah, just going out to do some um, some to eat. So I've got something to eat while I'm editing this video because I'm just going to sit down and edit. I feel like doing that today. I'm off college. So yeah. Hit these speed bumps on here. More annoying. I don't even know what the speed limit is here, saying I've been to a speed all the way in a Scotland, I don't even know what speed limit is I can do on it. Uh, I think it's today. What, what the people have said to me at the speed away in this course, I'm on 30 right now, because there's, there's street lights but no signs. So it's a 30. I think it's a five actually, but you know, whatever. I'm not under CBL on two five hours, not yet. It's a nice bike, well, normally parked here when I come down from the coach. So I think that's going to wrap up um, today's motor vlog. So uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace out. Yeah.